Hello everyone. My name is Vipul Temulwa, Sudak Mumbai faculty. Today, in this video, we are going to explain you about C programming syllabus for CCAT exam. Let me share my screen. So, as you all know that CCAT exam is comprises of three sections, section A, B and C. All sections have different topics as mentioned in the PPT and in this video we are going to discuss about C programming syllabus. So C programming main pointers I have shown on the PPT. So whenever you are trying to uh, whenever you are preparing for CCAT exam you guys need to focus on the points mentioned in the PPTs approximately 12 to 15 questions you can expect in C language from C language so first thing whenever you're trying uh, whenever you're preparing for CCAT exam you should read about history of C languages when C language is developed by whom C language is developed right and I hope you guys know that C language is the mother of all languages so Likewise, you need to read about the history of C languages. Then the point comes uh, data types and the keywords in C languages. What are the different keywords are there? While developing a program, we need to keep in mind that we should not use keywords in defining C languages. What are the different data types in C languages like integer, character, character, then float, double, all these data types, their size, you, you need to prepare then in C expect you can expect MCQ questions depending on the operators there are multiple operations or operators likewise arithmetic operator assignment operator logical operator bitwise operator right you can expect mul uh, multiple MCQs coding MCQs from operators concept next are the control flow statements so in control flow statement there are if else switch statement so what is if else when to use if else what are the key scenarios of if else and switch statement you guys need to read in control flow there are something called as loops for loop while loop do while loop everything uh, if you want to do some coding questions or, or some coding scenario where you need to perform some operations repetitively there you can use the loops right most probably you will expect coding questions for loop coding questions coding snippet in the mcqs next up functions in c language how one can uh, define functions what are the written types of the functions right and then user defined functions how a user can define a function what are the written types of the function that you need to check here while defining a functions there is con some concepts called as a recursion a function calling itself right you'll expect uh, mc questions on recursion also then the pointers are there very important topic in c programming language a quite confusing one also if you are clear with the concepts, you will easily you can easily solve the pointers MCU questions. Next topics are arrays. In C programming language, we, we can define arrays, 1D array, 2D array, and how the memory is allocated to the array, internal memory allocation, and then uh, how can we access elements from the array, right? If you are defining uh, 1D array, so how to access values of the specific array, how to access a specific location of an array with the help of index and subscript. You need to take care of that. Then string. String is a sequence of characters in C programming language, right? There are predefined functions for string. Then we can access string using pointers and all. How to access, how to create strings in 
C programming language that you can expect question, uh, questions from the string also. Then the point comes structures and union. What are the structures? What are the unions? Key difference between those two. Why to use structures and unions in C programming language? How to access structures variables, union variables? What are the use cases? The questions will be there. Okay. And the last point is file handling. How to store values? Why do we require file handling? Okay. To store multiple values in file. And if we can store values in file, we can access it anywhere, anytime. Right? So read and write op operations you need to take care. These are the key pointers you can expect questions from the C programming language. So I have added few basic questions for practice. The MC questions, you can expect similar questions in CCAT examination. So first question is the operator AND is used for and the options are given below bitwise AND, bitwise OR, logical AND and logical OR. Second question, which of the following is not a logical operator? First option is double AND. Second option is not operator. Third option is double OR and fourth is a or okay. Third MC question is that how long the following loop runs? I have given the loops for integer x is equal to 0, x is equal to x equal to 5, x plus plus. And the options are 4 times, 5 times, 6 times, and infinite loop. What you guys need to do is that you need to tell me or you need to send the answers of these questions in the YouTube chat option. You can comment your op answers in the comment sections. Please like the video, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.